So, Joshua, you are on Skep Talk. Can Josh. you hear us? Yes, I can hear you guys. Can you hear me? Wonderful. Yes, Welcome. you can. Tell us a little bit more about yourself and your question. Yes, I'm currently going to de deconstruction. A little bit about my pronouns. I am a cute spirit and gay as well. I am indigenous and I'm enrolled in my tribe, which is the Lenape Nation of Pennsylvania. And, and I'm going through a very hard time deconstructing. Uh, my family's giving me a hard time. I have certain beliefs within the Christian community that make me an outcast. And it's just really, really hard right now. And I've been watching a couple of your shows and my best friend, who's actually in the other room, says, why don't you call in and get a perspective, another perspective. I'm, I'm sorry, I've never done this before. But no, um, don't, you're doing great. A different, uh, a different perspective on things. And I'm still so, uh, deconstructing from, I went to in, in therapy as a child and stuff like that. Uh, well, you, and for a second, uh, could you, you just, sorry, it was just uh, the line cut out there for just a second. You said you were deconstructing from what? Religious trauma as well. Got it. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, and I went, uh, I went through XK therapy as a ch uh, child and a deliverance and an exorcism later on as an adult being gay. And, and uh, just, you know, I also deal with mental health issues in the church. I'm not even going to go into how the church treats mental health issues and stuff like that. So it's just, I'm having a very hard time. And I would like to hear your perspective and maybe you're a little bit about your deconstruction journey and stuff like that. Am I right in thinking that you're not struggling with whether it's true or not? You're struggling with how to reconcile your life with uh, life after realizing that it's not true that is that a fair assessment i mean i don't know where my deconstruction journey is going to take me or where i'm going to wind up okay. i'm in the beginning of it right now but okay. i do hold on to certain beliefs i still probably what you call i don't want to call myself a christian anymore that's for sure but i will probably still call myself a follow up right if that makes any sense i think I think already right off the bat, it's it's worth noting that like the the journey that you're going on is is just so incredibly human and familiar to many people out there, right? Like I, it's daunting, it's difficult, it's it's tough. I mean, gosh, it is difficult. It can be it can be hard, but you're not alone in this. All, many many people have have done it, and there are many many people out there who will who will do it still. So I think that you know, step one, at, at least if you're you know, struggles with mental health or anything like mine, it's important to realize that like this is you're not in isolation here, right? This is this is a path that is well trod and you can make it through it for sure, right? And the difficulties come with the day to day. But that's, you know, hopefully, hopefully we can at least offer some some help and some reassurance on that. And uh, have you have you considered sorry, I'll I'll reiterate a question I had prior and just because it does help inform what we might say next is like, are you currently financially dependent upon parents or like some, or the, or the community in general that such that you uh, were to be, be excommunicated or whatever, that you'd be in physical danger or physical peril? No, I am currently on disability right now and I'm getting ready to go to school to get my degree in culture anthropology and native american oh, studies great. and amazing and uh i'm really looking forward to that so uh okay but awesome. no uh, i'm not currently attending any church right now because of my deconstruction and i was recently asked to leave church because of my beliefs about the bible and other things i don't believe that it's the final say so on things and it's not I guess what you call inerrant. And I also believe that Holy Spirit's a woman and I believe in reincarnation and past lives. And I also believe in uh, what Erica teaches in evolution and that maybe that's how God used it, used things to feed us along in through evolution. And the church just had a field day with my belief. 
So Joshua, I, I want, I can imagine, first of all, I can imagine, and, and my condolences for that, because that can't have been easy to have to stand up for where you're at and, and be honest about where you're at to people who are clearly not very sympathetic to it. I, I would like to say, you know, speak from my perspective here and say that deconstruction and the journey that you're on, you, you should treat yourself to exploring anything that you want to explore. And, and allow yourself to be completely honest with where you're at. What do you find convincing? Whether you're looking at it from the scientific perspective or spiritually, or in your, you're looking into all these different religions, or you're looking into a lack of religion. It is completely up to you where you go from here. And while that's scary, it is incredibly liberating to know that it's all in your hands. You can read whatever you want and, and watch whatever you want and explore all sorts of different ideologies without feeling like you're you're going to be, you know, ostracized because, and I know this is kind of like harsh, right? But like the hard part, the hardest part of that, which is the, the first blow by the people who, you know, you're disagreeing with is over, right? You've already overcome a lot in that. And you should be proud of mm. yourself for, for, for standing up for yourself, even if it doesn't feel yeah. good, even if it feels horrendous and isolating, you know, you, you took a really big step and it's really brave to do that. Well, thank you. And my mom, she keeps sending me memes on hell and repentance and God. And I keep asking her to quit it and she won't. And it's very frustrating. And then another family member in a Facebook post, I said, religion kills and destroys and, and tries to control everything. And that family member had a field day with what I said. So a few things there. I, I, had to go through, well, I lost virtually everyone in my whole life. Like my, my social sphere was entirely wrapped up in believers, right? I had virtually no one in my life on a non-believer. Um, and part of finding ways, so you need to find the people in your life whom you care enough about to continue the relationship with, without this common out, without this common belief. And you are the one that will choose that as far as you can. Okay. But part of just being healthy relationships with anyone, anyone who wants to have a relationship with you needs to respect boundaries in some way. And if someone's not willing to respect boundaries, they are not someone who's great for your life. And this doesn't, it's not exclusive religion, right? This is just general. Now, yeah. I don't know how clearly, I don't, I don't know how clearly you've expressed to your mother that this is something that makes you uncomfortable or that you, you'd prefer she not do, but you may need to express it to such a, to, to be incredibly clear. Hint may not be her language. She may not be subtle. So you need, you need to set mm -hmm. this properly as a boundary. You say, you know what, mom, we're not going to agree on this. And this goes, there's lots of families of this with politics or whatever, right? So we're not going to agree on this one thing, but I love right. you, mom. And maybe you do, maybe you don't love your mom. I guess that's, that's an assumption. Uh, I oh, would I like do, this I relationship. Do love, I do love my yeah. mom. And mom, I want this relationship to continue. Our our love is so much more than whether we agree on certain topics. There's other topics we don't agree on. So how about mom, if we, for now at least, agree to work on our relationship without this one part? And you should keep praying for me, mom. If you think that I'm lost or if you think whatever, you go ahead and on your own, you know, whatever that means to her, she's, you should let, Give her permission to pray for you. Give her permission that, because I assume that if, if Christianity is true, you would like to know that. I'm sure that, I'm guessing from your call that that's true. Um, so, right. I just want to know like, what's true and right. that's it. And so, so, you know what, mom, our relationship is such that even in mom, if you're expressing something that is really true, because of our relationship, you're not going to be the person that convinces me just because that's just that's a parent child dynamic is always tricky yep. even without this. Right. So mom, pray that other people will be sent into my life to learn that it's true. Like, but mom, you're not going to be able to convince me. So let's just agree because we love each other to set this aside so that every time we're having a conversation, Jesus doesn't come up. And I promise you have to equally say, you know what, I, mom, if there's things you don't want me to talk about, like maybe she's uncomfortable with you talking about same sex relationships or I don't know what that those things might be but you need to respect her boundaries as well whatever they might be and then okay. you, you you two can work on that relationship on 
build on the commonality. And I had to do that with both my parents and siblings and children. I had to, I had to do this all over the place. Um, and it didn't happen instantly. Uh, and it, and it, there's not a hundred percent success rate, but, um, it's really the, the, the best chance you have because I've now learned that boundary setting is just an important part of living in society. And then I didn't, I wasn't good at figuring out what that was and, and letting people know what my needs were. And that, that's not, I'm not projecting that on you. I'm just expressing that that was part of my journey. So go ahead. No, no, I, I wanted to add on that before you, before you moved on. Cause I think that that one boundary setting is not easy. I it's, it is not an easy thing to do. Some people are really, really good at it. I'm not one of those people either. I'm not the kind of person that's really good at setting boundaries. Well, one, it frees you up. Um, you feel it liberates you from a lot of negativity in your life, wherever that may be coming from. But more importantly, when you come out the other side, you know, in a couple of years time, the relationships that you have are the ones you want to keep. And the relationships that you've lost are the ones that there's, you know, they're not missed. And they might, you know, I shouldn't okay. say that like they're not. I, I mean that they're not the ones that would have stuck around would have would have been hard to maintain mentally. And, and emotionally for you. So, so setting up those relationships and establishing those boundaries is, is super important. And I think something that's helpful, especially with what you've told us today that, you know, might aid you individually is to, is to phrase it to them like you're searching, right? You're searching. You're, you're searching for what you believe in. Right. You're trying to figure it out. And you can't be faulted for that. Like as if, as if the Bible, because you mentioned Christianity, so I'm assuming that, you know, that's, that's where you're coming from, right? As if the Bible isn't full of people right. who, who have sought, right. who have searched for truth, you know, whatever, whatever conclusion they come to, the act of seeking is, is something that is, I think, good. And I think that your church would recognize, you know, and people individually would recognize that the act of seeking truth is good. So phrasing it like that, I think, is, mm -hmm. is important. And, and to, put, put, to ease the burden for you individually, phrasing it to and being like, look, if I, if I end up coming back to the faith, I end up coming back to the faith. And if I don't, I don't. But I'm searching for truth. And that's, that's where I'm at on, and you as my, you know, individual that you're talking to, my mother, my sibling, my, uh, my pastor, whatever, need to respect that. So simultaneously, you're right. reassuring them, like, it might not be the end, even if it might be, right? But then you're also saying, no, these are my boundaries and you can't cross them. I'm a person and I deserve respect. You respect them and where they're coming from with their beliefs. They need to respect where you're at as well. And, and I know it's easier said than done, but try to empower yourself to set those boundaries because the sooner you do, the better off you'll be. Okay. Other thing you I will definitely do that. You also mentioned that you're going off to school and a lot of times schools will have counselors who can put you in touch with specific mental health resources that are not church-based. Mm -hmm. And that's the super important thing. Christian counseling is a no-no, as you alluded to, like there's just certain things you don't do there. One advantage of schools often is that it gives you, that they can help put you in touch with those kind of mental health resources that you might not as just as, as a norm, as an individual. So I would definitely encourage you to avail yourselves of whatever resources they do have for students, even if you, just to see if it helps for your situation. Okay. I will definitely do that as well. I've got three years left and I want to work in a museum preserving my people, culture, and tradition oh, awesome. when I'm done. So I'm, Amazing. I'm really excited. Let me, let me tell you, there's never a better time to get into exactly what you're getting into than right now. Even some of the, the more southerly states are, at least at the university level, are involved in a lot of repatriation efforts. So you're really picking a good, a good time to go into that. Um, and curating museum, gosh, you shouldn't have any trouble with that at all. Except it might be competitive. I should say that because it, it's a good game. Yep. So it might be competitive, but it'll be that you're going to have so much fun and absolute best of luck with that academic journey. Um, and, and with this arguably just as large uh, journey on, on discovery here. Joshua, do you have any other questions that you wanted to ask? No, that was uh, everything I wanted to talk about. And so I do appreciate you guys answering my questions and thank you for your time very much. But I, I hope that it, at least, you know, you're, if, if some of this was hopefully helpful and if it wasn't, I hope at least that you feel reassured that you're not alone on this and, and empowered moving forward. Thank you guys again. Thank Bye. you, Joshua. Take care. Gosh, that's, that, that's,
That's a tough one. Yes, I can. That's such a tough one, man. Mm-hmm. We got some, some, we got some heavy, we got some heavy calls tonight, Paul. We, we, we got some biggies. Yeah. 